Okay, so in this playlist, I'm going to be taking you through everything you need to know for thirds. There are going to be seven different skills that I've listed here, so you'll be able to find which ones you need from the playlist, and at the very end, there's going to be a little bit on exam questions. So without further ado, we'll get started on actually what is a third. So what I want you to do is to calculate the following, and you can use a calculator to do this. I'm going to do this as well, but you might like to follow alongside. Now, these first three that I've got in orange here, you're probably not going to need to use a calculator. But if you do the square root of 16 on a calculator, you'll get 4, because 4 times 4 is 16. Whoops, input is empty. If you do the square root of 25, you'll get 5. And if you do the square root of 100, you get 10. That's all because 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, and 10 squared is 100. Now, when I do these ones on the calculator, I'll show you what I get. So I'm going to do the square root of 2. And you get this number that doesn't appear to have much of a pattern. You get 4.14, sorry, 4.414. 2, 1, 3, and it just keeps going and going and going in like a pattern that you can't really uh, predict. And then I'm going to do root 7. We get 2.64575, and it just keeps going. And again, I'm going to try root 21 now on the next section, and that is 4.58257. Okay, put the calculator to the other side, and I'm going to do these last ones that I've got here in purple. So I'm going to do the square root of 8, the square root of 45. Let's see if there are any difference. When I do the square root of 8, I do get 2.28, sorry, 2.8284, and it keeps going. But if you press this SD button, it's going to switch, and it actually can be written as 2 root 2. So I'm going to write this one in red. It can also be written as 2 root 2. And I guess I should show you that the previous ones, when I do root 2, if I press the SD button, you do get both versions, but it can just only be written as root 2. And if I do that with root 7, it's just root 7. And if I do that with root 21, it's just root 21. It can't be written in a slightly different way, whereas this one looks a bit different. Well, let's try root 45. When I do root 45, let's press the SD button for a second. Let's just switch back to my pen. We can see that it's going to be 6.708 something, but when SD happens, you get that it's 3 root 5. So interestingly, it doesn't say root 45, it says 3 root 5. And when I do the square root of 200, I get 10 root 2, but as a decimal, I've got 14.142, blah, blah, blah. And as, as a, as what you eventually know as a third, it can be written as 10 root 2 like this. Now, it's important to note, these numbers that I've done in black here, if you multiplied 6.708 by itself, you should get something that's close to 45, because that's the square root definition. But it doesn't quite give you that. If I do 6.708 squared, I actually get 44.997. So the reason I don't get the exact value is because of these dot, dot, dots that I've got at the end. That number should be going on forever. Whereas if I do 3 root 5, put it in brackets, and I square that, I do get the answer 45. So these different forms of how we write things are going to be really, really important. Let's just put this calculator back to the other side. Now, these ones here, these are not thirds. I'll explain why in just a second. All of these ones that we've got here are thirds. And these last ones are what ones we can say these can be simplified thirds. And the bits that I'm talking about that are simplified thirds are really these things that we've got right here. But anything that is written in this sort of form that can only come on as this long decimal is what we would say is a third. So let's have a look at that definition and then we'll start doing some of the skills. So it says here that thirds, a third is a root of a number that cannot be expressed as a rational number. A rational number means it can be expressed as a fraction in the form a over b where a and b are integers. So for example, this is a rational number. 6 to the square root of 16 is 4 is a rational number because 4 could be written as a fraction 4 divided by 1. So that's why this column are not said. These ones, all these numbers I've got written in black here, cannot be written as a fraction a over b, where this is an, an integer and this is an integer, where those two things are whole numbers. So let's just see this with a bit of an examination. These ones here, root 2, root 3, the cube root of 7, it didn't say square root, just any root of a number. 
and the square root of 8 are all thirds. But remember, root 8 can be simplified, and we'll learn how later on to 2 root 2. But the square root of 16, which is just 4, the square root of 225, think to yourself what that is, but it's going to be 15. And even the square root of a quarter are not thirds. So if I do the square root of, and I do as a quarter, it's a decimal, but it's different to those other decimals, isn't it? It's actually um, one that doesn't go on forever. And if you press the SD button, it can be written as a fraction. The square root of a quarter is a half. So these three that we've got here are not thirds. So that's your introduction to actually what a third is. It is something that is a root that cannot be written as a nice number, basically. And on the next video, we're going to do the first skill, which is the laws of thirds. Found this video helpful? Then why not drop it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like the next video in the playlist, you can click here to be taken straight to it. And as always, wishing you the very best for all your studies.